Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. It's time for Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. Thank you for joining me today on Faith to Live By. The Apostle Paul said in Philippians 4.11, For I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. Contentment many times is a learned state of being, especially for those of us who are visionaries and love and welcome change. Life can place us suddenly in circumstances, situations, and with people where we find a lack of contentment. And then we can grow restless within our spirits and we can become vulnerable and I believe open to attacks from the enemy of our soul. The definition of contentment is easy to understand. To be content or to have contentment simply means an uncomplaining acceptance of one's life. Over the next couple, three days, I want to explore and expound upon contentment. If ever we need an uncomplaining acceptance of our lives, it is in the day in which we live. The gas prices, the food prices, and the overall market in general could cause us and can cause us to be a complaining people of God. Yet scripture, I believe, teaches us and admonishes us that godliness with contentment is great gain. You know, there are four specific areas, and I'm sure many more, but these four areas are opposed to our state of contentment. The first one is anxiety. Never in a time of history do we find more people on antidepressants, sleep aids, nerve pills, and other substances to help them unwind and relax. People are anxious today. But the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ still ring true and can calm your anxious heart and mind. Listen to what Jesus said about being anxious and worried. Therefore I say unto you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? The meaning of the word worry here in this passage is to divide into parts. The word worry here suggests a distraction, a preoccupation with things causing anxiety, stress, and pressure. Jesus speaks against worry and anxiety because of the watchful care of a heavenly and powerful father who is mindful of your needs and of my needs. After Jesus tells us not to worry, he goes on to encourage us. He tells us to look at the birds of the air, for they don't sow, nor do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father, Jesus says, feeds them and cares for them. Someone once said that when you see the birds building barns, then it's time to become concerned. Jesus asked the question, are you not of more value than the birds? Being anxious about tomorrow or today causes us to lose our contentment. Remember, the meaning of contentment is an uncomplaining acceptance of one's life. Because Jesus, again, in verse 31 of Matthew, tells us not to worry. Therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear? For all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly father knows that you need all these things. You know, it's interesting to also note that this word worry used in this passage is the word found in the parable of the sower. The word, the same word translated cares. Jesus admonishes admonition in this passage is important here because he knows that there are those who hear his teaching but because of the daily cares and the daily concerns and the daily worries the word they read or hear can become choked and become unfruitful and also affects our state of being content Come to Jesus today, beloved, and acknowledge the sin of worry and anxiety. Learn to discipline yourself by turning away from being anxious and just choose to trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Once we yield up our anxious spirits before the Lord, 
the spirit of contentment and peace can come in and calm our heart and mind. Ask yourself, has God ever let me down or forsaken me? I'm sure that you have to answer no. Take the first step toward full contentment. Resolve to let go of being anxious, and we will talk more tomorrow about how to let go and trust God for contentment. He loves you. Don't worry, and don't be anxious. You've been listening to Faith to Live By with Sue Taylor. If you would like to write with your comments or to request a copy of this program for an $8 donation, write Sue Taylor, 10827 Highway 86 East, Neosho, Missouri, 64850. Sue Taylor is a member of the KNEO team and a keynote speaker at several church and women's events throughout the four-state area. To book Sue for your next event, contact Sky High Radio at 417-451-5636.